And here's the veteran outfielder, the Starling Marte. The right fielder, number six. And the pitch. Starling Marte. Edge of the zone for a strike. And that's how this game gets started. That one drifts inside. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. That one miss. Swing and a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. And now Bader up to the plate. Swing and a miss. He starts him with the fastball, and that's a pitch that's right in his wheelhouse. You need to be careful against him with that one. Marte gets his lead at first. Nobody out. He goes down looking. Here's Francisco Lindor. 0 for 4 in the loss yesterday. And that's in there at the knees. Strike two. Good late oh, sink on that fastball. A lot of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And the right hater deals. In the air, left side. Merrifield racing after it. He's got it. That's out number two. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. And he takes a strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And now one and two. One That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. He's going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner holds. Payoff pitch. Ground ball to Bohm. Throws to first. That's out number three. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Go. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Kyle. Wide of the pitch. Oh. Yeah, that's too high. Strike on the outside corner. And it's one and two. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Battling here as he fouls it away. One and two now. Oh. Up the middle. Lindor. Schwarber out of the play. Trey Turner at the plate. Not shortstop. Trey Turner. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Here's Harper now. That one's in there, and that is strike one. One out, the runner at second here in game one of two in the series. Just missed.
And it's second. And oh. that's down and away. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Two two now. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. His twenty fourth home run of the season. It's two nothing. Bases empty, one away. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. That misses. And a count even one and one. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Fouled off left side. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. And another ball. That smash towards center. Taylor makes the grab for the second out. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. One JT okay. Real Muto at the plate and takes high there. Just missed. Two out spaces empty. Swings and misses. And it's two and one. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Swung on, belted. Bader ranging back. Feeling for the wall. Makes the catch and foul ground. Second inning set to go. And now the Mets DH, Ronnie Mauricio. Ground ball right side. Stop. Over to first. Down. One out in the second. And next for the Mets, Tyrone Taylor. And first offering is fouled off. Taylor, in his fourth year, 30 years old now. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. Righty to the plate. Strike two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Rojas under this one. And there's two away. Two outs, space is empty. Brett Beatty up now for the Mets. Oh. Going one. Come the on. Phillies leading by two here at the top of the second. Swing and a miss as he was out front. No ball. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two down. Nobody on. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Upstairs. One and two. It's a three up, three down inning. Back here in Philadelphia, go, bottom of the Philly. second. And now, the Nick Castellanos. Nick. Peterson, back to work. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Swings through that one. Filthy oh, changeup right there. Just pulled the string. One and count one and two. O2 two pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at oh. bat. That one off the mark. mark. Two and two. Here comes a pitch. Three and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Hey. And down on strikes he goes. And one away. This is Bryson Stott. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. This one in the air. Baden settles under it. 
puts it away for the out. And there's two down. With that Merrifield is. up to the plate. With Merrifield. And a foul ball. On the ground to third. And that one finds its way through. He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Just found a way to Batting slide that nine. ball down the third baseline. No, That's field. really excellent yeah. back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That's just Come nice. Johan Rojas. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. And we're back. And now the, the rookie back. second baseman, the second Luis baseman. Angel Acuna. Luis Angel Acuna. <laughs> right down the chute. on one That one lifted to left. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. This to center field. He's under it. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. He'll score on the sack fly. It's 2 1. Starling Marte up to him. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. And he handles it himself for the out. Bader takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. And that keeps the inning alive. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. One ball. One, one run across in the frame so far. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one catches the corner for a strike. If he were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Merrifield right there to make the grab. And back here in Where Philadelphia, go, bottom of the inning. And here's the Phillies leadoff man, Kyle Schwarber. The wind of the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two. And yeah, there's a ball. Good purpose One pitch hit. right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is even two and two. And he grounds one back up the middle. Tosses to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The batter number seven. Here's Trey Turner. Shortstop. Doubled in his first Trey. A.B. Turner. Foul ball there. One down, base is empty. Oh. That misses the zone. Ball one. one. And that one is in for a strike. The line to kick the pitch. Out towards right center field. Marte sizes this one up. He's got it, and there's two away. Here's Bryce Harper. He's already homered in this game. Harper. That one hammered center field. Back there. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they boost their lead. It's 3-1. A good hitter gets picked.
pitch recognition early, he saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Stepping in, Alec Bohm. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. In the air, out towards right center. Taylor ranging after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the inning. As we go to the top of the fourth, and stepping in for New York, Pete Alonzo. There's a strike. Since debuting in 2019, no player in the majors has hit more homers than Pete Alonzo. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. That no, one inside. And the count is one and two. Go and team. another ball. Kicks and fires. Ground ball up the middle. Into the outfield. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Next offering is in for a strike. Strike him out looking. So up next, Tyrone Taylor. Tyrone Just off the outside edge. Ball one. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Grounder might be two. To second, there's one, and that's two. Back at Citizens Bank Park, digging in. JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. That one catches the zone, and it's 0-1. Well, these Phillies showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Stop right, batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Oh. Next offering is downstairs. Two outs. And that's in the dirt. Towards first. That's a base hit. Whit Merrifield stands in for the Phillies. And he's already singled in this game. A swing and a miss as he chases Come way on. out One of the strike. zone. Stop. Off of first with two away. Up the middle, and he can't come up with it. And that extends the inning. Now and now for the Phillies, Johan Rojas. He's over one. That's in for a strike. He can get through this one. Up to zero. This will help in his outings to come. And takes low for ball one. And now the lefty. Oh. Oh. 
Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Two on, two outs. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. That Rebel. one not close. And that's ball three. Popped in the air. Left field. Bader makes the play, and it's out number three. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the fifth, and stepping in for New York, Brett Beatty. First pitch, oh, just misses. Well, these Mets, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. And that'll fall for a base hit. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. To third, might be two. On to first, one away here in the fifth. Next to hit, Kevin Parada. And that's in for a strike. Runner at second here, one gone. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Nope, he held back. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Man at second. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. So the batting order turns over. And now the right fielder, Starling Marte. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And a swing to miss. Runner at second, two down. But we're at the top of the fifth. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. to right field, way back, gone! He made him pay for that one. His 16th homer of the year, it's 4-1. Live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good. Jose Buto gets the call from the pen. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And here is Trey Turner. Yes. Swing and a miss as Come he was out front on, that Trey. time. You know, these fills really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Had him out front for strike three. Bryce Harper to the plate. That one almost got him. Buto, 6-1 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, and he works in a changeup. This one in the air. Acuna under it. Two away down. Two outs, base is empty. The now the third baseman, the third baseman. Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. Foul ball. Fought off foul. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. Last half of inning number five. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a miss. He swung over top of the curveball. And we're back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six and stepping in for New York Harrison Bader 
right through there for a strike. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And it's fouled away. The Phils leading by three. And we're the top half of the sixth. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next offering upstairs. Good chase that time. And another ball. That one ripped. And that's a base hit. He forced a lot of pitches to be thrown and ends up collecting a hit. Here's Pete Alonso. One for two. That's in there. It's 0-1. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Oh, and now a wild pitch. And now a man into scoring position. Swing and a miss. One and two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. One out and a runner at second here in game one of two in the series. Now, picks up strikeout number seven. So now here's the Mets DH. Ronnie Mauricio. Ronnie Mauricio. In there at the knees. Going one. Oh, one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing out there most of the time. Okay. Runner at second, two down. Close, oh. but called a ball. Down one, one and two. Hey. And that's a strikeout looking. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. There we go, bottom six. Now, JT Real Muto. JT, Real Muto. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ball one there. Bounced up the middle, and that one handled. Not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. Just a good job putting the ball in play and then busting down the first baseline. Beat the throw pretty easily. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Oh. Castellanos, the Perfect. next to hit, takes outside. Real Muto, the board here at first with nobody out. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance speed, there's one. Now he launches a throw over his head. And this ball is going to wind up out of play. Stop up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Out to short. To third. Tag got it. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Whit Merrifield. And first offering is fouled off. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Acuna puts it away. That is the inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Sir Anthony Dominguez. He's pitching on two days rest. And stepping in for New York, Tyrone Taylor. And he deals. Well struck left field. 
Merrifield reaching back towards the wall. Pulls it in on the warning track. He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Baden in the box again. Takes a strike. Top of the zone for a called strike. Out there to center. Under it. And makes the grab. Two away. And now, Luis Angel Acuna. That one the other way. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Austin Adams. He last pitched two days ago. So digging in, Johan Rojas. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Adams is what you're looking for in a good reliever. The ball stays in the ballpark. It's so hard to square him up. Strike two. Got him swinging. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. So the Philly batting order turns over. And next is the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. He's already homered here in this one. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. And yeah, that's outside. And it's one and one. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Two balls. And another ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Wouldn't yeah, chase that time. First pitch strike hey, from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. One out, base is empty. Outside, and that is ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. offering popped in the air right field Turner is out and there's two away Bryce Harper now stands in for the Phillies wow. Harper all one to Bryce one and Schwarber the runner at first with two gone And a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The 1-1. One, one. That one fouled off. Two outs. And another ball. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Back here in Philadelphia, ready to begin the eighth. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Kevin Parada. On the ground right side. Stott over to first in time. First out in the top of the eighth. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. On the ground. Trey Turner gloves it. Fires to first on the run. No, Throw there, save. Sorry. And that was close. Singy, that was a close play. And it looks like they're considering challenging the safe call. Really close, Boog. And tough to tell in real time. We weren't sure. So you really can't blame them for wanting to take another look. Well, they are going to challenge the call. And so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Another look Ladies at it. Singer, are you seeing enough to change the call? The yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, it's close, but I think after looking at it a few times, we can see that this guy's probably out and could be a good use of the challenge right here. Looks like we've got an answer, and he's out. They took a chance with the challenge, and it paid off for him. 
Base is empty with two away. Now the batter now, Harrison Bader. And first offering is fouled off. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets the sense, it's a first. And Bader is set down. That ends the frame. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, Phil Bickford. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one in an inning, Billy. so he'll be tough to get the to. Third baseman. So here's the cleanup hitter, Alec Bohm. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Bickford, a 6-4 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. What a way. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync, and the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Bases empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. Now it's the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that ends the inning. now and on the mound the closer Jose Alvarado hasn't pitched in the last three days Francisco Lindor now at the plate as the lefty gets to work worm burner into the outfield for a knock and the leadoff man aboard well that started and ended pretty quickly no messing around right there couldn't get any air under it but he smoked that ball back up the middle timing was just perfect got great wood on it and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it slap the other way foul Owen oh two now stays alive Lindor on at first. Nobody out. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. On the ground right side, and it goes just foul. Strain, tricep bone. Oh my goodness. This could not be good, people. This could not be good. Brandon March. He'll play first base after the injury. The 0-2. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. In the air to left center. Merrifield in pursuit. He's got it. And there's one away. 
He's two outs away. Ronnie Mauricio up now for the Mets. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Man at first, one away. And that's a little bit high. And the count one and two. One and two. And they'll do it again. Lifted in the air, right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. In there at the knees. That's strike one. The Phillies trying to close out a three-run lead here at the top of the ninth. Okay. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. After four runs in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Well, the only thing you can really think about right now is what's going on with Bryce Harper. Um, yeah, we won this game, but Bryce Harper bombed the ball twice, and now you, you just, he just suffered an injury. So we're going to just see how he does, and uh, yeah, hope for the best. So until next time. This is David B. 69, and I'm out. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies, four runs on eight hits, no errors, they left five runners on base. For the Mets, one run, seven hits, one error, they left six runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 55 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.